In this video tutorial, you will learn how to work with configurable events and rules. Before I launched the management client, I went to the camera setup web page and configured tampering detection. For this camera, we're able to adjust only the duration of the tampering period before it will generate an event. We can also specify whether the event should trigger on dark images. For example, if the lens is covered or if the light is turned off. Let's proceed to the XProtect management client. Now we'll navigate to our camera and add the tampering event. In the site navigation pane, in the servers node, we'll click recording servers. At the top of the list of hardware in the recording server pane, let's click to open the device Axis M3044V network camera. And under the device, click the enabled camera Axis M3044V network camera. In the Camera Properties pane, we click the Events tab and click Add to enable configured events for this camera. The list contains the specific events for this camera. The dialog box shows all events, whether they are enabled on the camera or not. In this case, we want to add the Tampering Detection event. In the list of events, we'll click Tampering. Click OK to close the dialog box. Usually, we can specify a few properties for the event here. In this case, however, we can only enable the event, that is, set it as true, or disable the event, set it as false. By default, the event is enabled and ready to use in the Manage Rule Wizard. Let's click the Save icon in the upper left corner to save the changes and continue. Now, let's work with the Manage Rule Wizard and focus on how you navigate to the correct event type. Here, I've started a new rule in the wizard. I clicked Perform an Action on an event and opened the dialog box to select an event. There are two kinds of events, configurable events and predefined events. Tampering detection is a hardware event and therefore a configurable event. So we'll click to expand configurable events. In the list of configurable events, we click Tampering. Note that the event name must be exactly the same as the one you added under the camera. For example, Tampering Started is an event generated from a different device and will not work for this camera. Let's click OK to close the dialog box. You just saw how to work with configurable events in rules.